So today I got this joystick or a gamepad or a controller and somehow the instructions do not include detailed description of how to connect your joystick to the computer. So it came in this box here and some instructions which mostly talk about safety measures, protection and a small part of it talks about how to connect this joystick to a PS4 system but it doesn't say anything about how to connect it to a computer. And this actually is a challenging thing to find out how to connect it to a computer. According to the specifications, this joystick has really cool features. It is a remote controller. You don't have to connect to your PC with a cable, but it does have a cable. But when you connect your controller to the computer with this cable, it doesn't do anything. It has Bluetooth connection, but when I turn on Bluetooth on my computer, the computer doesn't see this joystick. It only sees it when I connect this joystick with a cable. It has some electric motors inside to add some vibrations when playing. And it has some fancy LED lights. And one of the coolest features it has is this touch pad. So you can actually move the mouse pointer using this pad if you're able to set up this joystick correctly. And you use it as a mouse and you can click on it. There are a lot of joysticks like this with similar appearance. So let me show you how to connect this joystick via the Bluetooth connection. What confuses the users when they try to connect this joystick is when you press this button, you turn on the joystick, but nothing happens. It doesn't try to connect to a computer. Let's check the Bluetooth connections on my computer now. We need to go to the Bluetooth section. You can either click on Bluetooth devices icon here if you have it already showing on this panel here. Or you can go to search and search by Bluetooth keyword. Once I enter Bluetooth keyword here, I will get Bluetooth and other devices, so I will click on it. You need to have this option on so that your computer can see Bluetooth devices around. So now we are ready to detect the Bluetooth device. Now the joystick is off and I will try to turn it on, thinking that this will already allow me to detect the joystick. And as you can see, nothing is happening. When I go to add Bluetooth or other device, Bluetooth, if I turn on the joystick by pushing the button once, I neither see this joystick detected here. So you think, what's going on? Let me try to plug in the USB cable first and see if I can pair this device to my computer. Once I connect it to the cable, I can see this option, wireless controller. But still it doesn't mean that my controller is connected to the computer because it says that it is connected under the audio section. And if I check it volume here, I will see that I have an extra option here which says headset earphone wireless controller. And this is because this joystick has an output for headphones. So this doesn't help me. It did not detect my joystick as a controller, as a wireless controller. Let me disconnect it now. And this option has disappeared and this option has disappeared from here as well here you can see there is an output for headphones that's why it appeared here so pressing this button does not help me so what do I do nothing in the instructions and the easy step here is to keep this button pressed for three seconds and then you will see this LED blinking frequency changing, which means it will try to connect to your Bluetooth receiver on your computer. So let's do it now. 
I'll press this button and keep it pressed for three seconds. One, two, three. Now you can see it's blinking differently. And now this device should appear among the Bluetooth devices here. You also saw that this joystick turned off on its own when the cable connection was broken. So nothing is appearing here, so we should go to Bluetooth and other devices option. And now we have to add a device, a Bluetooth device, any device here. And now you can see that there is the wireless controller and this is how we actually add it to our computer. So let's add it. And now it says setting up the device. Now the computer did detect the controller, the wireless controller. Done. And now we can see this wireless controller here. From now on you can use your joystick while playing games on a computer. But not all games will detect this joystick, which would be another topic to explain. So now you've seen here there was a message saying the device was set up. Another important thing to remember here, after the device was detected here, next time you try to turn on this joystick, you will not have to keep this button pressed for three seconds. You'll just need to press the button once and the joystick will be connected to your computer. Let me show you. Let me turn off the Bluetooth connection first and the joystick will turn off on its own. There's no off button. As you can see the joystick turned off on its own. Now let's turn on the Bluetooth connection and you can see that the device is paired here, it says paired. Now I will just have to push this button once and it will say connected here. So this is how it works. From now on you can try any game on your computer and see if the joystick works. But not all games will detect your joystick, you will have to install extra programs and in the next video I will show you how to do it for a few popular games. Now when your joystick is ready you can check if all of the buttons are working. To do that we can go to devices and printers option, click on it and you will have these options here, wireless controller and let's go here to game control settings, properties. And now you can check here if the buttons are working. For example, let's press some of the buttons. Up, and you see it has up, down, down, right, left. So these buttons are working. Another one, the stick itself, up, and you can see it's reacting to your movement. Down, to the right, to the left. Another one also reacting all of them buttons you can see it's showing you that there is reaction on the buttons other buttons here also we can see that something is happening on the screen so this way we check if all buttons are working so your joystick is fully working next thing is to set up these joysticks for your games if something works incorrectly it could be that the joystick is fully functional but the games do not detect the joystick. What you will need to do is to go to the settings of the game and check if it detects the controller or it only detects the keyboard, which happens with the games which are installed on your computers. So you'll have to install extra programs in some cases.